What's going on, everybody? Spunky Nice Not One coming, you guys, with another video. So, yesterday during my live stream, um, Jadavia Clowney name came up a couple times by somebody in the live stream. They were talking about how they feel like the Eagles did not have enough pass rushers, which personally I disagree with. But um, this guy, this this person was going on about how he felt like that the Eagles did not have enough pass rushers, and he felt like they should trade for um, Houston, Texas defensive end Jadavia Clowney. I made a I made a video on Jadavian Clowney a couple months like a month or two ago uh, when the rumors really started coming out of him possibly coming to Philly. I made a video on that. That video was very well received in terms of views, lights, and interaction in the comment section. Um, but yeah, um, this person came to my live stream saying they wanted the Eagles to trade for Jadavian Clowney. And today I found an article on Jadavian Clowney on, on why the Eagle, you no, know, um, the person who wrote this article, why they believe the Eagles should trade for um, Jadavian Clowney. So they agree with that person as well. If he watches this video, um, I'm gonna read to you what they say in this article on Eagles Wire, and of course I'm gonna give my thoughts afterwards. So with that said, let's get started. The article starts off saying that in today's past happy NFL where the quarterbacks reign supreme as the game's true stars, only defensive ends and cornerbacks come close to the salary of the league's top passers. You can never have enough good pass rushers on your roster, and the Houston Texans find themselves at odds with one of the NFL's premier defensive ends slash linebackers. We can we can get back to that whole defensive end thing later on, but for now, Jadavian Clowney is a holdout in Houston after he and the Texans were unable to reach a long-term extension by the franchise tag deadline on Monday, July 15. Clowney, the first overall pick in the 2014 NFL Draft, skipped all the Texans off-season off workouts and OTAs and has reportedly been unwilling to sign the non-exclusive franchise tag of of a fifteen point not fifteen point nine nine hundred seventy six million um that, that the Texans placed on him. Making matters worse, Houston tag Clowney as a linebacker instead as a instead of as a defensive end, hoping to save the organization a few million. Um the designation is a slap in the face for a guy who played seven hundred and twenty nine snaps at defensive end in two thousand eighteen, compared to just thirty three at outside linebacker. Because the tag is tied, it, the, because the franchise tag is tied to positional salaries among the league, the test, the Texans will save over a million dollars towards Clowney by not by not tagging him as a defensive end. The Texans can still sign Clowney to a new contract after the 2019 season, or tag him for a second straight year, further alienating their superstar pass rusher, or realizing that they could never match what Clowney can secure on the open market. Um, the, the team without a, G, a GM could decide to part ways with their you know, with their um, star with their star for some healthy compensation. If Houston did decide to part ways with Clowney, Philadelphia would be among four or five cities that that would make perfect sense for those screaming that Clowney is a linebacker based out of a three-four scheme run uh, ran by Romeo Cornell. Let us refer back to the 729 snaps of defensive end for Clowney last season. A position that comes naturally for the Pro Bowler, and 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 one that he could definitely grab here with the Eagles. Jim Swartz and the Eagles utilize the concept, uh, the concept of um, pass rush rotation, better than any any team in the NFL. With Brandon Graham, Darrell Barnett, Fletcher Cox, Vinnie Curry, Josh Sweat, and uh, and and others all coming at the quarterback in waves. Clowney was named the third was named to his third straight Pro Bowl last season, finishing the regular season with 47 tackles, nine sacks, one forced fumble, and a fumble recovery. Clowney had 16 tackles for a loss, which tied ninth was tied ninth in the NFL last season. According to Pro Football Focus, Clowney's overall grade of 89.5 was tied seven best among um, edge uh, among edge defenders. Um, such statistics is important in showcasing why the dream trade, why this dream, this dream trade could be a win-win for both Clowney and the Texans. Even with all his success in Houston, Clowney has never has never been a boat tackler because of his penchant his penchant for being being a down lineman. Clowney also has a tendency to get worn down and handled in the running game, something that could be avoided with the Eagles. Um, the concept of Philadelphia is not solely uh, predicated on sacks, but pressure off the edge, pressure up the middle, and hits hits on the quarterbacks that make 
the quarterback that may not show up in the main stat sheets, but definitely comes, but definitely can be found in in grades and 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 analytics. Um, adding Clowney to the mix would only increase the overall talent and versatility of this Eagles defense because of his penchant for being able to rush off off a stand up position. Such a dynamic would allow Swartz to keep Clowney on the field for third for third downs as a linebacker or standing rusher, while still having his full throttle of edge rushers line up inside as well. After giving Carson the highest guarantees in NFL history, adding Clowney's salary will bring the Eagles cap down to just under six million, thus forcing Harry Roseman to again create salary salary cap you know salary cap space without ripping away from the core of the franchise. Clowney is expected to report to sign his fifteen point nine hundred and sixty seven million franchise tender prior to the start of the Texans regular season September night matchup against the New Orleans Saints. But stranger things have happened. So there you have it right there. Pretty long, pretty lengthy um article there. And my thoughts on this are very simple, man. Um I don't agree with that person that was in my live stream yesterday that said that we don't have enough edge rushers. I think I think we are very low on the defensive line. Personally, I think we're low on the defensive line. Um I, I like the young talent that we have there, you know, um Josh Sweat, um Derek Barnett, uh, Sharif Miller. I, I would I would rather focus our time on developing these young guys than trading for a guy that's um that's in the last year's contract that is uh, reportedly is not happy with you know signing a franchise tender. The only way that I would be okay with bringing uh, Jadamian Clowney in is if um if we traded for him because we're going to give we're going to give up quite a bit for him. Plain and simple, you're not going to get him for cheap. The Texans are going to want they're going to want some very hefty um compensation for him. So in order for me to be be somewhat okay with bringing him in, he would have to agree to a contract immediately after he got traded to the Eagles. Because the last thing I want to do is trade away all our, you know, trade trade away a, a large portion of our assets for the future, you know, draft picks and stuff, for a guy that's only gonna be here for one year. Look at the damn Toronto Raptors <laughs> in, in, in the NBA, man. They traded away so much for Kawhi Leonard, and he just uh, went, you know, went to the um, Los Angeles um, Clippers. But back to what I'm talking about here, man. I'm, I'm just comparing it to that. I would do exactly the same thing that the Chiefs did with uh, Frank Clark, who they traded for um, with the with the Seattle Seahawks. They traded him. The Seahawks traded him to the Chiefs. The Chiefs gave up a whole lot for him. But immediately after um, they, they um, the the Chiefs um, received him in the trade, they immediately agreed to a contract with him. So for me. I'm not uh, no. I, I would not be taking any chances whatsoever. If we um traded for this guy, he would have to agree to a contract right away, because I don't want to trade away so many um assets, you know, draft picks, players possibly, you know, you know for for a guy that's only gonna be here for one year, and you know, with the, when it comes with the salary cap and all that stuff as well, man, um, I think we should be we should be focused on saving our salary cap, not not sitting here, you know, taking on big contracts because we already got some big contracts. Obviously, want the number one big contract being Carson Wentz. So, speaking of also also speaking of Jadavian Clowney, um, in his career, um, before he came to the NFL, the guys had some character issues. I remember when he was drafted, you know, by the Texans in, in the first the first overall pick that year. Um, his head coach in college uh, at, at at South Carolina, his head his form, you know, his his head coach at South Carolina, Steve Spurrier. Um, he refused to say whether or not the guy was a hard worker, you know, because there was reports going on about his character, saying that he was lazy at times. And Steve Spur, his own coach at South Carolina, refused to say whether or not the guy was a hard worker. So he would not speak to say if he was a hard worker, you know. He pretty much validated that that the guy could be lazy at times and take time off, you know. And I don't want that prima donna attitude in our locker room, man. We got a great group of guys here, a great group of guys that pay, that play for one another, man, and. Um, not non-selfish. I don't want that selfish attitude, you know, that Andre uh, David Clowney has had linked to him a couple times in his career, uh, especially in college. So, yeah, man, I'm 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 not for this at all. I'm not for bringing the man unless we, you know we're able to get a fair deal for him. But I, but like I'm telling you right now, we're gonna have to give up quite a little bit to get him. You know, he's not gonna be it's not gonna be a cheap deal for us, man. We got to give up a couple draft picks, maybe a player or two. And then, like I said, you know, 
this guy's only here for one year. You know, the only way I'll be okay with it would be if we um, immediately agreed to a contract with him the moment he was traded to us. The same thing that the um, the Chiefs did with Frank Clark when he was traded to them by the um, the Seahawks. You know, Frank Clark was another one of those players who um, I made videos on because he was linked to the Eagles as well. So he would have to immediately sign a um, contract, you know, extension, you know, with the Eagles if we were to trade for him because, you know, because well, what happens next? You know, he plays for you for one season, then he goes off and uh, gets a big contract elsewhere. Now you're out of so many draft picks. Um, you're out of a, you know, you trade a couple players to that team, so you're left with nothing. And that's the one. That's the position that I do not want to see the Eagles in. So, what I'm basically what I'm saying is, man, I'm not for this at all. I think we got some great young talent at defensive end. Um, I, I like what we have at defensive end. A lot of young talent there. I'd rather just focus on developing our younger talent here. Um, letting them develop, you know, um, and go on with that. I, th I think we're very low on the defensive line. I, th I just think this is Eagle fans just wanting. That's the way I feel like you just, you just, it's like a pipe dream. This is just something that you, that you want, you know, you see a, a player that, you know, a superstar player that is a, um, that, that could be traded. You just want that guy on your team. That's not necessarily a player that we need. I think we got exactly what we need on our defensive line. I think this defensive line is absolutely stacked. And um, it's a hope, you know, and and it's and it's gonna be very very good for many years to come. You no, know, and and in that massive contract that uh, the David Clowney is gonna command, I, it just it just would not be a smart idea in my opinion. I know some are gonna disagree with that, but I don't think it'd be a smart. I don't think it'd be a smart. Um, it'd be a smart decision to um bring in the David Clowney. I say stick with what we have, man. Continue to draft for the future. Draft, you know, draft pits and assets for the future. And let's just continue to build this team with what we have and build onto this team for the future. That's just my honest opinion. I know some may disagree with that. Some may say they want your David Clowney, but I'm not on board with this for, on board with this at all. Not bringing in that massive contract, possibly a, a prima donna, um, a prima donna childish attitude. I don't want to deal with that in our locker room. I don't want to deal with that mess in our locker room. I'm happy with a group of guys that we have. And I'm all about adding younger guys with um with good you know that don't have character issues and you know who who pick up the culture of the Eagles locker room quickly. That's what I'm all for. But hey, like I said, I know that some some people could disagree with it, but that's just my opinion. I say no to bringing in Jadavi Clowney, bringing in possibly a bad attitude and a massive contract to, to, to you know a massive contract to throw on our salary cap that we just don't need. So that's just my honest opinion. But you guys let me know anything in the comment section. Would you want Jadavia Clowney in Philadelphia? If not, tell me why. Um, if, if 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 yes, tell me why you want him in Philadelphia. Um, but yeah, you know, um, we'll see what happens with Clowney. We'll see if Houston uh, ends up ends up trading him this offseason. Uh it, it would be smart for Houston to move on from I think it will be. You know, obviously he's not happy with you know the, the team over there. He's not happy with his contract, so no, for Houston, it'd be smart for them to move on from him. But but I don't think the Eagles should get involved with this. We we need to focus on developing our our, our, our talent that we drafted, the, the young talent that we drafted, and uh, managing our salary cap, not adding you no know, more expensive big contracts on it. So yeah, you know um yeah I'm I'm not I'm not for bringing Clowney in. I'm, I I I made my mind up on that. But you guys let me know anything in the comment section. Thank you guys uh, for bring, for um, coming to my live stream yesterday. I had a whole lot of fun chatting with you guys, man. We definitely will do another one of those chats um, very, very soon. So thank you guys for staying, doing my live stream. It was a lot of fun. Definitely do more of those. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not on board with this at all, bringing in the Jadavid Clowney. Stick with what we have. But you guys let me know anything in the comment section. Um, do you want Clown on the Eagles? Yes. Or, if you do, tell me why. If not, tell me why not. But as always, go birds. Spunky Nice 91 is out of here. Fly, go fly. Peace.